On today's episode, we're heading to St. Johnsville, New York for a three-day weekend at a new location called Soul Family Farm. This beautiful property is known for its unique formations and huge Herkimer diamonds that come out of the ground, so we're here to check it out. Looking down here, getting nice and dirty down here in the mud. Down pretty deep. Let's start finding some crystals in here. Another little guy right there. It's really hard to see. It's super muddy down here. Nice piece though. We'll get that cleaned up later. You find any? Yeah, pull out a few. I'll cluster one. Nice. Little well, buddy right there. Good. Hanging out. Come to watch us dig. A really cool little uh, cluster here. Oh, just really cool. Let's see if I can find bedrock in here. The calcite crystals just come down. Oh yeah. Maybe the piece is coming up. It looks like crystal. Yeah, yeah. Nice little gun. It's a crystal. Let's see if there's any more. <clears throat> the big old calcite crystal. The gatekeeper. Let's see if there's anything behind the gate. There's a piece right there. And a crystal, and there's another wow, that's calcite. Cool. And the crystal there. Let's see if there's any more in the back of that big old chunker. There we go. He's covered in mud, but this thinks she's gonna be a pretty one. Little coffin. They're just coming out of the ground here. Nick just got into this nice little pocket. You do. A lot of calcite in there, but he's pulling crystals out now. Just massive calcites. Another one. They gotta be in here somewhere, don't they? There's a crystal. A lot of calcite. Just kind of taking some of this dirt too, because I can rinse it all down there in the brook. Because I think there's little ones sort of. And they're coming out, but. <clears throat> there's another one. That pocket just keeps giving. Yep. There's a bunch of crystals still coming out. There's a couple in here. Looks like they're stuck in the dolomite. Pretty good. I'm back. Every scoop though. Coming out with a few more. Oh, look at this one that just came out. laughing in my face, actually. That is a beaut. Get the twin point on the bottom too. Beautiful termination right there. That's a hogger. Got our buddy Pat Rocks in the house. He's pulling out some goodies. Yeah, look at that. That's nice. That's beautiful. Well, day one here at Soul Family Farm is amazing. Uh, we already got a good start pulling out some really great crystals. Uh, like there's quite the storm rolling in though. Wind's picking up, rain's coming, thunder and lightning will be here soon. So we're gonna wrap it up for the day. The storm is here. One good thing about the rain, a good way to naturally clean off the rocks. It's out here taking a shower in the rain. Cleaning rocks, some gems, cleaning up some gems, just fresh out of the earth. Really just pumping them out here at Soul Fam. 
With the storm coming in really heavy, we don't have much of a choice, so we decided to head to camp, cook a hot meal, and try again the next day. Well, woke up this morning, and it's uh, still raining out. Nothing like putting on wet clothes and wet boots. Getting ready for the day, so first things first, gotta get some coffee going. We're out here. First thing in the morning, first poke into the ground. Look at that hog that pulls right out. I bet they're popping out. A lot of smaller ones after that big one came out. Some have damage. This one looks good though. Looks like it's got both points on there. Really, every time I put the camera down to dig, within a couple of swipes, I'm popping out another one. That's beautiful. right now. What's interesting about this is you can see the bedrock right here and not too far up you get this root layer level with the ground. They're literally coming out right in this root layer right above where the uh, the hard rock is. So right above it they're literally just loose rolling around in the dirt. Still just falling along that root bed. Buddy Tim here has been pulling out some monsters the past couple days. Those things are huge. Sweet. Good work, man. Thank you. Look at that weird elongated point right there. That is a cool crystal. Still just following this root seam right on top of the bedrock and they're just still popping out literally every time I put the camera down one's popping out <laughs> look at that one wow that's a beaut yeah Look at this hog that just came out. Oh my gosh. That is a monster. That'll be the one Jongo wants to keep. <laughs> that is a monster. Yeah. Next down in the little honey hole, just rolling them out now. Good mud. Real muddy after all that rain. That's a beautiful one though. Nice point. Can't even see it, but <laughs> that is caked. Definitely in the mud now. Yeah. Sorry, I can't really clean that off for you. <laughs> it's just literally going through the muddiest of the mud right now, but he's still pulling them out. Let me give this one a little rinse. Wow, that one is like perfect, man. Beautiful. Nice. Little twin, too. It's a good one. I hear it. <laughs> Another one, man. This is so wild. Wow. Jeez. Just another monster coming out. That rocks is over here getting into it. That is a wild, guy. wild crystal. Weird shape. Very weird. 
Oh, it's a baseball. <laughs> right after Pat hits one. Now Nick Pat. Nick hits one. Literally. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Amazing. And it's got a little twin on there. Wow. Another beauty coming out. That, that. Stunners. Woohoo. Look at that. Isn't that something? And so literally what we're digging through down here, it is just a mud mess right in that pocket. Well, we decided to wait out the rain out here and kept going. <laughs> and still going pulling out these monsters. It's just unbelievable. Perfect weekend for Nick's birthday. Yeah. Got the mud man here. Woo! Look Another pile of that soul fam goodness, baby. Well, day three of us being out here at Soul Family Farm. <clears throat> Rain's been off and on all weekend, downpour, drying out, so we've been trying to keep keep warm, keep dry. It's uh, <laughs> not working out too well. Uh, but we are Right now I'm sifting through all the mud from the buckets that we were pulling out yesterday because it was so hard to see, but I'm pulling out a couple good crystals just out of the mud buckets. See, just rolling around. Look at the size of that one. This is just all from the buckets that we're trying to haul out. But the mud got so bad we couldn't see what we we're doing. And now, picking through it, we're finding some nice ones. A little bit of bad weather couldn't stop us from having such an amazing time here at Soul Family Farm. The amount of crystals and the size of these Herkimer diamonds is just absolutely wild. A big thank you goes out to Soul Family Farm for making us feel like family for the weekend.